Good morning, I am Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Somebody got a very crafty family member, Taurus. Someone with Taurus heavily aspected in their chart. Um, this is possibly an older man or woman, but I feel like this is an older woman in your family. Okay, that's a queen of uh, pentacles here. And she's very, very crafty. This is someone in your family that has watched you since the day that you were born and been monitoring you. She knows this woman, take it as it resonates though. Whoever this Taurus in your family is, she's been watching and monitoring you from a distance since your childhood. It was something about your energy that she really, really never, uh, uh, it never re resonated with her. She couldn't stand to be around you. Now, what people do when they know it is not socially acceptable to the public, uh, co a lot of covert narcissists do this. When it's not socially acceptable to the public, you know, to openly say, hey, I dislike this child. It's something about this child's energy that does not agree with mine. That, that, that they're not going to be accepted sharing that opinion. So they're going to go along with uh, everyone else, oh, that's my niece. That's my nephew. Oh, I love them so much. I love all of them. I'll get all of them gifts. I'll do this, that, and the other. Whoever this family member is, they really, your energy never quite meshed with theirs. Uh, and throughout your life, when you were growing up, they would interact more uh, with your siblings than with you. Because... It was something about you where you were too honest. Your energy was too raw and honest for them. You know, you had a pure, righteous spirit that didn't agree with their, uh, didn't agree with theirs. So whenever they would have to interact with you, they, they could never quite, look at this woman. She'd watch you from a distance and she never could quite uh, look you straight in the eyes. And whenever uh, there was a family reunion or a get together, she would only say a few words to you and then get up out your energy. But whoever this uh, Taurus family member is, they probably sent you birthday cards or whatever, you know, throughout the years, uh, not to separate you from any of the other children in the family. But like I said, your energy never quite agreed with theirs. And this person has been doing things to work against you since you were a child. So they didn't even feel right uh, uh, being in your energy. It's so, something subconscious about knowing what they were doing to you your whole life didn't allow them to physically be in your energy and spend too much time speaking directly to you. Because as you grew up, you were very defiant against old ways of narcissism and you were confrontational. This person has a very, very, it, this relative of yours has a very, very snake, uh, fake, yeah, a snake. Not just a snake, a snake, a fake, <laughs> a, a fake smile. Uh, when they would smile at you, they would just hold their teeth on top of each other and crack like a fake ass Grinch smile with you. Oh, hi. Okay. This is who we're dealing with. Now, whoever this is, they're very crafty because they've been doing something to you uh, wherein they've been, they've been sending uh, love interest. You were a target for this family that they were using for uh, it, the card money and resources is what came out. But I believe they were using you as a resource for uh, energy harvesting. Energy harvesting through all of your pain through all of your years. Energy harvesting from you because uh, they knew something uh, spiritually about you as a child. So this person has gotten recent knowledge uh, that you ate a cups, you got out of whatever their last plan to try to hold on to your energy was, this is you. You have a very strong Pisces placement in uh, your chart somewhere. You don't have to be a Pisces sun, but it's, it's a strong placement of Pisces specifically in your chart somewhere. The eight of cups is a Pisces, okay? 
and you got away from these people. You broke some type of spell uh, during this last full moon. You did something with your little witchy self and you broke free of every single uh, attach cord of attachment and spell and, and every, single, every single devilish thing these people were doing towards you. You ended it, okay? And that happened during that Leo moon. And you started defending yourself, Seven of Wands. You finally started standing your ground and using your power to defend yourself. Now, this crafty little Taurus family member of yours, she feels like there's still another way. She's not ready to completely let go yet. So she, with her little crafty self, uh, is concocting and, and mixing something up here for you. Okay? If you can see here, uh, uh, this, uh, and she does things in secret. She does some type of uh, spell work and divination in secret. She does not appear to anyone. She's very conservative, extremely conservative. She's probably, uh, I feel like she's an, uh, a Catholic. I, I really feel like this woman presents herself as being Catholic. I, I'm not getting vibes like she belongs to uh, any type of Baptist or apostolic church. Uh, I believe she belongs to uh, like an Episcopalian or Catholic church. Something, uh, a church uh, and religion that's a little more conservative. Because that's the vibe I get from her. Uh, she wants something that's going to make her look uh, straight-laced very clean and white collar, okay? But behind closed doors, she concocts, she concocts potions and spells that uh, uh, using people's energy that she places on people. And she's doing this right now because with the death card reverse, she wants to see if she could reverse an ending in the work that they've been, the work that they've been doing, because you're the whole reason that whole family has been getting abundance. They've been manifesting off of your energy uh, with the world card reverse. They want to see if they can pull you back into an old cycle that you've already moved past. See the thing about you getting away. The pro see the pro they under they studied you now, and they understand they understand that the reason that you got away is because you're, you're realistic and practical now and you've caught a judgment on this last uh, King of Cups reverse that came in your direction. You saw the forest for the trees right away. You was able to read this person up and down a and you were able to get out of whatever type of devil energy uh, they were using to try to uh, hold on to you. You broke free of that. And you called, uh, you reversed the judgment about that person and, and you ended things. They know now that they can't reverse uh, an ending with that person because, you know, uh, basically you're too practical. You're, you're, you're too, um, the way that you think, uh, you're, you, you can see things exactly. Things have to make sense. They have to add up to you. No one can pull the wool. You're realistic. You're realistic. You know if they send Idris Elba to you, that that's not realistic. You know somebody done sent that man. Because there's not a God in heaven that's going to send <laughs> uh, you or Idris Elba that's just going to fall in love with you. Or, or vice versa, uh, uh, Megan Good. You know, if, um, you know, they were trying to set you up. You're realistic, you're practical. So, so they can't pull a fast one on you, okay? So you're not taking any more chances with the full card reverse. So what they're doing now is there is somebody new. You don't know this person. You've never seen them before, never met them before. This is the King of Pentacles uh, in the reverse here. And this person is someone that's very impulsive. Uh, I have Prince of Wands here. They have a lot of fiery energy, passion, okay? That they're sending in your direction. So I feel like they're trying to approach it from a, a different type of aspect. And now I want to find out exactly uh, how this person is going to uh, come towards you and approach you. Because they already know that, that you're realistic. 
So what has this older Taurus feminine in your family here come up with that they think is going to finally work? Because they're sending somebody towards you right now. Yeah, this family member doesn't doesn't never really like you. They've never liked you. But that's not socially acceptable to say I don't like one of my nieces or nephews too much. So they went along, they went along with the tides. You know, they, they went along with um Oh, okay. This person's gonna make some type of small offer to you. Uh, so they, you know, they went along with, uh, you know, what's socially acceptable to everyone. Oh, I love everyone here. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Here's a card. Uh, I hope all of my nieces and nephews are doing great. If this is an aunt of yours, whatever the case may be. But they never wanted to be around you physically or communicate with you verbally. This person could have spent over uh, 15 to 20 years avoiding you on the telephone. Not even wanting to pick up the phone to speak to you, possibly. Because your energy was too strong for them. Your energy was too strong for them. See, your light irritates some people's demons. And it was the light in you since childhood that irritated this relative's demon that that's into this type of dark work here that they've been doing on you since you were a child. I'm sorry, I always have to tell y'all a story, but let me tell you. You got families out here that go to church, uh, they claim a religion, but you know, uh, uh, in the back door, they do, uh, they do other types of spiritual rituals and things because they understand about energy harvesting uh, for financial gain. Just put it like that. Okay, in my family, this is a personal experience. In my family, it was something going on where, uh, you know, I was born in uh, Jamaica, Queens, New York. And my mother, uh, my mother also was very intuitive, but she was more of uh, like a dark, a dark witch, okay? Uh, and later she found religion. You know, later on she didn't found the Lord, okay? And still went to church, but she was still you know, uh, casting spells with her mouth. She had a friend of hers that was this barefoot prophet. She was a barefoot prophet uh, that, that used to walk around New York uh, with no shoes on, you know, uh, that used to have visions and go around prophesying over people and shit, right? And she was barren. This woman did not have the ability to uh, uh, have children. She was infertile. She lived in the Bronx. When I was five years old, uh, now, now, mind you, this is like a cult type mentality. So my mother was uh, kind of studying spirituality under this woman. Uh, and when I was five years old, my mother, uh, she used to go to her apartment all the time in the Bronx, but my mother took me to her apartment and my sister, who was a baby at the time, to her apartment in the Bronx. And, uh, that woman, her name was Sister Baba. I'll never forget this bitch. Because she probably done passed away now a long time ago. But if I was to ever run into her ass, it's going to be a misunderstanding. Her and my mother did some type of spiritual ritual or something uh, with me and my sister. I remember I was standing in the background and my sister was uh, just a few months old laying on the bed. And this goddamn barefoot prophet uh, told my mother that uh, this is the chosen one here. And she was talking about my sister. This is the chosen anointed child. And then she told uh, my mother that I was of the devil. I was five years old. She said I was of the devil uh, and that uh, I had, uh, uh, I was, you know, something to the effect where uh, I was not chosen. I'm, you know, I'm going to hell. Don't put no energy into this child. She's evil. She's wicked. She's an omen. That's what she was telling my mother about me to my face. And they did some type of uh, uh, ritual wherein, you know, uh, she pulled out, you know, her little bottle of holy Goya oil and they anointed my sister the uh, chosen one or whatever the hell, right? And 
after they said uh, prayers over her and anointed her, and she was only a baby, these two bitches gave me a beat down like they was jumping me into a gang. <laughs> and it wasn't like I had just said something out my mouth or I had done something wrong, you know, or, you know, you remember when you, I told you not to, like I was getting a beating for something. I did nothing. I did nothing but stand in the background while they were anointing uh, my sister, uh, the chosen one, the anointed one. And these two bitches jumped on my ass, my mother and this barefoot prophet, and beat the shit out of me together. It didn't take two people to beat me like that <laughs> and left me laying on the ground when I was five. And then from that day forward, let me tell you something. When people with heavy demonic spirits and entity attachments see that an anointed child is born into this world and they know that you have a divine calling on your life and they see that light inside of you, they will try to attack you when you are a small child and stop that shit out. They want to dead and end that light completely. They want to put out the light completely. You got a candle, whoosh, whoosh, no light. They were trying to beat and stomp the anointing out of me by traumatizing me and for years to follow. Even after that, uh, even after that, uh, it used to be a TV show that came on and it was called The Flying Nun. If you're old enough, you remember the show. My mother took it the, the extra mile and started dressing up my sister like a nun <laughs> as a small child. You know, she put that nun shit on her head and the outfit had her walking around like a little penguin. <laughs> but either way, um, at that point, I was the omen child. From childhood, I was the omen child and she treated me as such. She, she could never look me in the eye because it was that light inside of me that was irritating her demons. She could never look me in the eye and, and, and address me directly. You know, she would stand sideways even just to speak to me. You know, it hurt her so much to even look at me. Whenever you have someone in a family, and it's usually one person in that family. My mother had six children, six. And I'm the only one that came out feet first because my ass came out running. <laughs> My ass came out running, trying to get the hell away from them people. I promise you. <laughs> and by the time I turned 11, I did get away for good. <laughs> Long story short, I'm just trying to tell you, family members, and, and throughout the years after that, she did a smear campaign throughout the family, always uh, 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 about all types of lies and things she would concoct to make sure everyone forever saw me in a negative light and do things to put me in situations where uh, I could self-sabotage uh, by making sure I didn't have a foundation intentionally, intentionally throwing uh, stumbling blocks in the way, even from a distance, to make sure uh, everyone was afraid to speak with me or want to reach out a hand and try to help. Eventually, by the way, my mother did lose custody of all of her children, by the way. We were all taken from her eventually. So I just say that to say you have somebody in your family. There are families and my family was one like this where they know that there is one child that has some type of an omen on them, some type of a gift, some type of a light. Because remember in the Bible, you know, it talks about uh, Jesus you know, uh, like paying back the karma, you know, this, uh, uh, being the sacrificial lamb for the world. But that's a misunderstanding, okay? That was actually for his bloodline. He was the one, the fish, the Pisces, okay, that was absorbing all the karma for his bloodline. Because remember, that went all the way back to David. When David wanted Uriah's beautiful one wife. And David had many wives. 
so David sabotaged Uriah and uh, the uh, Uriah and put him at the forefront of a battle so that he would die and be killed first so that he could sleep with this man's one wife and then a prophet came later uh, the name is not coming to me at the moment I bet you it'll come by the end of this reading a prophet came to David uh, and said and gave him a story you know and he was like there was a man that only had one sheep only had one sheep and another man that had uh, flocks of many sheep and she, and he went and he killed this man and took the one sheep that he had and David was like uh, that's a travesty he was like that's an outrage where is this man so I can kill him damn it and that prophet told David that man is you and you have cursed your bloodline and the sword as a result uh, 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 your karma the sword will never leave uh, your bloodline and that was until Jesus came down through that bloodline, the ascended master, many years later, and took on the karma for his bloodline. You have usually one in every family that incarnates at some point that's different from all the other children that go through the most from childhood all the way, uh, all the way until uh, they're older. They, they have the, the worst things happen to them. They go through the worst pain. Even if everyone in the family has gone through it, theirs is always much worse. And that's because they're carrying heavy karma because they were chosen for that. They, they, they were chosen to come through that bloodline so that they could clean up the karma for that bloodline for something their ancestors had committed through the years. So when, when, whenever one of these uh, uh, high priest or high priestess of a high vibration incarnate in your bloodline, that's the black sheep of the family. That's the one that everyone turns against and puts out. That's the one that is set up by all the covert narcissists who really know who they are. That they, instead of celebrating that child, they try to uh, throw stumbling blocks to keep that child in pain and off balance and instable so that as that child uh, grows up through the years uh, and they watch them fumble and foul and um, instead of offering help, you know, they, they, they just watch their pain so they can energy harvest off of it because they're using that person's pain to manifest abundance for the rest of the family if it's one of those families that are spiritually inclined. So this auntie possibly, they're telling me it's an auntie of yours. They've been watching you since childhood and they knew you had that light inside of you along with other family members. And they t they've been targeting you and they felt guilty about it. That's why they didn't like being in your energy. Not just when you were a child, but also when you got older too. They never could stand to be uh, around your energy or in your light for too long because it would start to irritate their demons because they knew what they were doing. It's like every time they would... Uh, Every time they would see you, uh, this look on her face is like, you're not dead yet? Oh my God. Damn. You're still living? Wow. Damn. You still have stability? You came back from that? You still have custody of your child? You know, you, you this, you that. Oh my God. Look at her face. It's like she gives a fake smile every single time you've jumped a hurdle that they've thrown in your direction from a distance. Every time they threw a rock and hid their hand, you know, oh my God, you still, oh, good for you. You still have a job. Oh, okay, we're happy. Yeah, okay. Oh, you, you survived the attack of that, uh, that op that we sent your direction uh, to be in a relationship with that was, supposed to, uh, that was supposed to get you in such a low vibration when we did our spell work, it would have killed you. You know, she smiles with her teeth. Not her face. She only smiles with her teeth. Whoever this person in your family is. Okay. So they're sending... She, so she's thinking of another way now. She's concocted a, a, a new plan. Uh, and they have someone coming towards you now. A king of pentacles reversed. Okay. So this is someone that's in it for the money. That they've hired. Coming in your direction right now. What's this page of cups? They're coming uh, possibly to make contact with you. You know, to for the start of something. Judgment. Okay. Go ahead. And this is someone you don't already know. 
they're coming to tell you that possibly uh, a judgment has been made, possibly about giving you something. Now I'm wondering, is there uh, an inheritance or some money or something that you were supposed to receive possibly? So I don't even feel like this is a lover coming towards you. Ooh, okay. What's this about? Hold on. Clarify that six of, uh, this is an apology, okay? They're coming to apologize to you for the gang stalking of the friends and family. I'm not making this shit up. They've been gang stalking you since childhood. And they're coming to apologize for that shit now. Go ahead, six of pentacles. But you need to, you have to, yeah. Because your family is a part of a coven or cult. That's why. Your family has always been part of a coven or cult. However, they've disguised themselves behind some type of a church. I'm getting Catholic or Episcopalian. You must take a spiritual bath, fast, isolate, and meditate so you can see through whatever type of facade uh, they could be throwing your way. So I feel like someone is coming to possibly offer you something. What's that six of uh, pentacles? They're cursing each other out. They're, they're, these people are cursing each other out about something. What's that? Clarify that six of pentacles for me, please. What's that six of pentacles? Get out the way. Get out the way. It's about to come down. Trying to figure out what that six of pentacles uh, is. You're spiritually protected. Never argue with a fool because from a distance, you can't tell who's who. They only want to gaslight you. I am getting the feeling that these people want to come and offer you some type of a payout for the work they've been doing on you. Because it could be some type of investigation going on right now and it's too much evidence. We live in an age of communication where you can access and pull back, I don't give a fuck, going back 20 years, any video, every phone call, every text message, nothing ever goes away. Nothing. And it's about to come down so someone is wanting possibly to give you an equal give and take of something. With the hangman energy. What else, spirit? Now, I'm wondering, they're wanting to come offer you something. But is this some type of a trick? Because it said you need to isolate fast and meditate. Because it looks like they're thinking if they suck you in. I feel like they want to suck you into repeating a cycle. But the only way to get to you is by offering you an apology of some kind to at least get you back into their energy, okay? I feel like they wanna get you uh, back into some type of uh, their grasp in some type of way. I feel like they might offer you some type of resource, possibly to see if they can pull you in uh, to the fold. But I feel like the whole, the whole purpose is to get your energy back entwined with theirs to get you caught up in some type of uh, illusion again. Mm, interesting. What's that King of Swords? I feel like, yeah, I can't make this shit up. They're trying to energy harvest off of you. These people are gonna come to you and they're sending someone, maybe a lawyer or whoever, but they're going to send someone to you that's going to come off as a, a, a mature adult, you know, that is extending an apology to you. They might even try to do this in private and secret. And, they, and they're going to try to bring you some clarity about lies that were told, why certain actions were taken. But it's to get back into your energy so that they can energy harvest off of you. 
And that is whoever this King of Pentacles is coming towards you. What type of, uh, what's the seven of cups? What type of delusion? Some type of delusion about ending things, possibly uh, uh, ending things with all of uh, the uh, manipulation, uh, possibly uh, with any other. Uh, this is this Queen of Swords reverses a covert narcissist. This is someone that is emotionally intelligent, and they use that to their advantage to manipulate people uh, with a lot of lies and deception. They know how to get people to see things their way. They know how to make a person look a certain type of a way. And this has to do with stability. Let me get some energy surrounding uh, the ending, uh, this death card, uh, along, with, um, along with this Queen of Cups reverse. Clarify the death card, please. What's that death card? Yeah, this is an opportunity. Mm-hmm. This person's under spiritual judgment, yeah. Whoever this is, they're, they're under spiritual judgment right now. This person, all right, this is somebody else in your family possibly that's jealous of you that is currently under spiritual judgment. What's that death card? Clarify that death card for me. You have, it could be a masculine or feminine energy, but I feel like this is a female, a woman, possibly in your family, that's under spiritual judgment that has always been very jealous of you. And she could be terminally ill or sick or getting ready possibly to uh, pass away. Who is that? Clarify who that, uh, clarify who that Queen of Cups is, please. A hidden enemy danger headed your way this oh shit there it is it, it slid right to the top you could have a sister that's terminally ill right now possibly that may uh, maybe getting ready to pass away from something this is someone that's never uh, been able to um, go inside this is someone that has always projected Whoever this person in your family, it's someone that was never able to deal with their jealousy of you. They, they, they didn't know how to, what's the word I'm uh, thinking of? You know, uh, reflect. This is someone that, that does not have a reflective bone in their body. They're only able to project. And they've been given chance after chance after chance after opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to stop what they were doing. And it can only go on for so many years before uh, you get karma that's built up in the ethers that can manifest in the form of a disease. Just like a stream of water that's very thin, as more water, uh, 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 more energy, uh, more wind, wind is a form of energy uh, and water starts pushing down that stream and more comes, the current becomes stronger. And if you don't stop that stream and that current before it gets too strong, then when you're ready to stop it, then it'll be too strong and you will be overtaken by the water. And that's how it works uh, in, the, uh, in the mental plane. All disease and sickness uh, develops in the mental plane by a way that you're thinking, okay? Low vibrational thinking. All disease manifests from low vibrational thoughts because disease is of a low vibrational frequency. And when you think in a low vibrational way, the same low vibrational thought, uh, and that would be like casting spell work on somebody, 
for years and years and years and years. And that stream of negative energy, that disease that's manifested uh, uh, in, in, in the uh, mental plane, that stream of energy becomes so strong over time. If you don't stop it in enough time, it accumulates force. And then it starts to align, especially if it didn't hit the target. Then it aligns with one of your chakras, your energy centers in your body, depending on what the negative thought was about. If you were extremely selfish about something, then that would be like your solar plexus. Uh, for, for people that are very, too selfish for too long of a time and, and they allow that, that stream of energy to build up for 20, 30 years plus and then they start having ulcers and stomach issues uh, when they get past 40 because it developed and manifested uh, uh, in their solar plexus that type of illness because that's connected to that stomach region. Whatever frame of thought that you're in uh, that's aligned with where that energy is streaming into, if it's of a low vibration, if you, if you stay in that energy for too long, the stream of energy will be too powerful to stop and eventually one day it will manifest into some type of disease, whether it's uh, an issue with your throat, an issue with headaches, with, with your mind and how you're thinking, an issue with your prostate, because uh, uh, be, because of you using your sexual organ to steal energy and to manipulate people instead of a balanced uh, uh, sexual organ, male or female. So this person, at a certain point of your life, usually around midlife, you're supposed to get into some type of reflective energy when you're able to uh, uh, go inside and be like, you know what, these actions that I've been taking, you know, and this way I've been feeling for so many years, maybe it's time for me to reflect a little bit and go inside and examine what is the cause and see if I can help myself to change something. Because right now I'm projecting and attacking an innocent person. And at that point, whatever energy you had built up, that would have started to dissipate as you burn that karma off. That energy in the ethers would have started to dissipate uh, as you start going through a healing process and a transformation around midlife. But some people do not get it around midlife. That, that's usually like the time frame in a human life. Some people go past that transformation point of their life, which is why uh, when they get sick and pass over, when they reincarnate, whatever lesson they left off with at the time of their passing, they pick it right back up uh, when they're born and reincarnated into their next family. Whoever this sister of yours is, she passed that point and, and, and she waited too long to stop whatever it was she was doing. That jealousy, she didn't deal with it. She continued to project. She could still be projecting right now. Even as we speak. Any more messages, spirit? They said it's about to come down. Any more messages, spirit? So possibly your family might be wanting to come to you to apologize for whatever actions your sister uh, may have taken to affect your stability because uh, if she was in this Queen of Cups reverse energy, she that means she was able to convince a lot of other people to go along with the plan. But I don't, I, whoever the sister of yours is, I don't think she was alone. I don't think she acted independently, and I believe other people were working with her. I just believe because it's legal issues involved now, everyone might try to scapegoat it all on her possibly. But if she's, yeah, but if she's terminally ill, and passing away, it might even be easier for her to uh, be scapegoated for everything that was uh, done against you. Gang stalking. Because they figure she's going to pass away anyway. So let's just put it all on her 
and then we can get away. But what about this older Taurus family member here? That's been with the shit. That's been with the shit even before, e even before y'all were old enough to talk. This Taurus energy right here has always been with the shit. So, uh, yeah, everyone is fighting five of wands now. I'm sure there were some people that were manipulated. Okay, everyone is sad. It's a lot of mixed emotions and confusion here. Because when you have someone that's passing away, but as a result of their own doing, um, but you still love that person, of course it's a lot of mixed emotions there. It's sadness because we all have dark and light. We all have dualities. A lot of you out there have uh, family members and relatives that wanted your ass dead and probably tried to kill you from a distance. But you still remember that sibling or cousin that you taught and showed how to tie their shoestring that you, you used to let sit between your legs while you cornrowed her hair. That you cooked for, that you loved. That you would hold their hand and take to the store. That you would walk to school with. You know, you still have those memories. Those nostalgic memories in, in, in which you love that person still. You still see them as your baby brother or your baby sister. Or your big brother or your big sister, even though they're a different person now. They didn't turn into a whole demon on you. There's someone you don't even remember. You don't even believe they're the same person. It's unbelievable at how this person has transformed to you. So it's a lot of mixed emotions there for a lot of you if you're de dealing with a situation like this. It's emotions of nostalgia and love mixed with how could you? <laughs> How could you? You wanted me dead? You wanted me dead, mama. <laughs> Child, I used to cornrow your hair and put beads in it. You wanted me dead, for real. Girl, I just... Ugh. Strength card with justice reversed. What else? Oh, the Hierophant reverse. Okay. So, oh, messed up. So the Four of Cups landed over here. Uh, with the death card, the queen of cups reverse, right over here on top of it. These people, and the five of wands, these people are fighting because they were fighting over your energy to manifest abundance over. They want to scapegoat whoever the sister of yours is, they want to scapegoat her because she's on her way out anyway. So they want to try to blame everything on her, but she wasn't the only one that was manifesting abundance from your energy. And these people didn't get their share. That's what the Spirit's telling me. What they're fighting about, they don't care about her. They want to know why they didn't come up off of your energy to make whatever money or get whatever resource, whatever house they were trying to buy, whatever job they were trying to get, whatever they were trying to manifest off your energy, they didn't get it. Whatever money they were promised in, in, in doing the gang stalking in the various different methods uh, of harassment through technology and monitoring, uh, these people uh, may not have gotten paid uh, and may not have gotten things that were uh, uh, promised to them. So you got the Four of Cups reversed here. These people are upset about not getting uh, uh, what they were promised. Recognition and, uh, oh, ah, no, don't tell me that. Wow. Whew. These people are, with this strength card here, I feel like these people are very adamant about not getting whatever they were promised. And they could be arguing uh, 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 over, literally over this person that's passing away. They're having sleepless nights. And the sad thing is, these people are close emotionally to this person 
if this is your sister that's pass, passing away, they're closed emotionally. Ace of Cups reverse. They're closed emotionally because they, they only cared about what they could uh, manifest and get. Imagine having people surrounding you in your time of need. If you on a damn respite bed and, and they're arguing and upset. Hey, before you go, is there somebody you can talk to? Because I didn't get paid. This didn't happen for me. I sacrificed a lot of time. This is what happens when you run with hyenas. This is what happens when you run with a whole bunch of hyenas. These people are not being loving or caring. All these people uh, that are around her, it's fake love. They're upset because they feel like they are not getting justice. All they feel like is going to happen to them is they're, they're getting legal issues with the hierophant here, reverse. I feel like these people uh, feel like it's not justice, uh, that they're not getting paid. They didn't manifest what they were supposed to. And in addition to that, they might have some legal troubles uh, in the near future. Because you didn't surround yourself, whoever this sister is, you did not surround yourself with loving people that... What's that song, that gospel song? Love is caring, uh, love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. That's what's coming to me right now. And I know I probably fucked up the words like I do everything else, but love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. All this Queen of Cups in the reverse, the sister of yours felt was jealousy for you and a passion for money and one-upsmanship. And her heart chakra was not activated. She could not give or feel any genuine love. Love is patient, that's it. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is felt most when it's genuine. She surrounded herself with family members that don't know what love is. They don't, they don't know love is pure. They don't know the feeling of genuine love where your, your, your unconditional love. I'm not here because uh, I, I'm going to get something financial, some type of financial come up. Or, or because uh, you can get me some type of an opportunity. I'm here because I have a genuine uh, love for you from a genuine heart space when I talk to you, when I check on you, when I spend time with you. She surrounded herself with people of the same mind frame and energy as her. And now, in her last days, these same people, these same people that are surrounding her are projecting that same energy to her. Where's our money? Yeah, we sorry that you sick, we understand. Yeah, yeah, kumbaya, okay? But hey, I got kids to feed. Hey, I was supposed to get this promotion. I got legal issues. Who's going to pay for a lawyer? There's, she's not feeling any type of genuine caring for her right now. These people could be laughing like a bunch of hyenas. You are the company that you keep. Six of Cups. Yeah. In the past, in the past, they tried to uh, get away. They tried to uh, get away possibly with hiding all of the things that they uh, was doing to you. Seven of Swords to the Moon card reverse. Yeah, all of the work that they were doing. All, 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 they, they were trying to cover up all the, thing, all the different uh, types of, of methods of attacking you that they were doing. You see right here? This is the spell work that they were doing. This is the spiritual practitioner. All the spiritual practitioners that they kept hiring. This was the people uh, that were doing the gang stalking. Okay? Uh, 
you know, this was uh, the lovers that you were in a relationship with that they paid off that were ops that came to play in your energy to keep your vibration low. This is the work they, they were doing uh, on, your, uh, on your stability and the gaslighting. All, uh, all of this work that they were putting in, they're fighting about all the work that they put in. That's what they're fighting about. Somebody said, this is not my problem. Somebody said, this is not my problem. I can hear them. They said, this is not my problem. I just want to get what I was promised. I just want to get paid. That's what somebody just said. They said, all this shit ain't my problem. And they're talking about the health condition possibly of your sister here. Somebody, somebody wants to quickly try to avoid a disaster and see if they can uh, possibly heal a situation. Uh, and, and they're hoping possibly on some type of a, a fast communication. Uh, what's that? Uh, Eight of Wands. This is an Empress reversed. This could be Cancer energy here. It could be Libra energy or Cancer energy or both, okay? They might want to communicate, they possibly want to communicate with you uh, if this was one of your love interests about the playing around in your energy with a fake offer, two of cups. That's what I'm seeing there. I feel like uh, they were paid. They might want to heal something to avoid a tower. They might want to communicate to you uh, possibly um, uh, about possibly having you. You could have some Libra in your chart, but about having you in an Empress reverse or attempting to have you an emperor in an Empress reverse. Uh, the Empress reverse is someone that does not know their value. It's someone that has self-esteem issues. It's someone that, that might have a low self-worth, might be going through depression. They're not functioning at their highest. They may want to communicate with you on how they were expecting to get you into that state of mind with three of wands uh, with, uh, by controlling uh, possibly or abusing possibly uh, some type of false offer or a false start. Okay, so I feel like, uh, and this is cancer energy here too, if you were involved with a cancer. Um, doesn't have to be. But yeah, playing around in your face, playing around in your energy. That's what they were doing. I don't need to clarify that. They was playing in your face. Yeah, somebody trying to avoid some legal issues. Somebody really trying to avoid some legal issues. They trying to let something go, two of uh, pentacles. Ha! <laughs> ah! Uh. They could have, uh, somebody could have possibly uh, released an emperor, uh, uh, Okay, so I feel like this person that wants to communicate with you fast could be someone, a relationship from the past that might have been one of your ops, okay? And they're wanting to release uh, or they're wanting to communicate to you that they've released someone possibly and whoever uh, this emperor energy is, this is an older gentleman uh, that you could have been involved with. Uh, they're, they're probably wanting uh, to see if they can uh, uh, deceive you, uh, if, if they can rush in really quick in the night of uh, Swords Reverse. And this is a very lying and dishonest type energy, of course. But they want to see if they can come in really quick to celebrate with you, you know, uh, to make amends with you, to be friends, to see if they can bring you in with everyone and explain, you know, explain some things to you.
they want to see if they can uh, uh, get a message to you possibly about something that was going on. They possibly want to see if they can uh, get a new start. Oh, we got two more energies here. I feel like it's a, oh, they want to explain to you. And this came out in one of my other readings about uh, two feminine energies, two younger feminine energies that had uh, uh, started standing up for themselves. And were walking away from this emperor. They, they, they realized that they had self-worth. And, 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 and that they didn't have to be the subject to narcissistic abuse. And they were just in the beginning stages uh, of getting themselves together mentally. Because these are two, these, it was two young women. Uh, one was uh, possibly an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. The other was a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or uh, Leo. But they were two young ladies that this emperor uh, had been uh, playing around with. And now they want to possibly come towards you to tell you they released them and they want to celebrate with you. And they want to give you, uh, or, or they want to lie. They, they're coming to deceive you and lie about a, why uh, it was a backstabbing and betrayal, ten of swords. Why they backstabbed and betray you, you know. But whatever they tell you is going to be a lie. And, and they want to just balance things out. We want to even the score. We want to. You know, uh, I want to smooth things over with you in these still waters. So what I gather here is there are a lot of people that are now going to be trying to cover their own asses. A lot of stuff is getting ready to be exposed and come out. Uh, a lot of things that were done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of things in the past. Yup. Yup. All this trickery, tomfoolery, and fuckery that has been done to you, Six of Cups, in the past, is all about to come up and be illuminated at one time. It's all rising up with the sun. You see? Moon card reverse. The, the moon is going down. The sun is coming up. And it's about to shine and shed a light on everyone and everything. Any final messages before we end this reading? Because this, this is too much. The wheel has turned. That's the wheel of karma right there. Let's get some energy on that. The wheel has finally turned. In your favor. Somebody's going to find out that a child is not theirs. Clarify the wheel. Clarify the wheel reverse. Oh, somebody's going to find out. Somebody might have been, I was getting some head. I, <laughs> somebody is going to find out that someone they were involved with you know, uh, with an entity attachment, might have been cheating on them, uh, might have been cheating on them and performing oral sex on somebody they know and the child is not theirs. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. The answer is no to what? The wheel. Someone that they know, someone they're very close to, possibly from school. What's the wheel? Oh, this could be an Aquarius. Hold on. This is a what? This is a frenemy, a secret hater. Okay, I'm sorry. This is someone actually that has a lot of Aquarius in their chart. That's very close to them. Somebody's going to find out that a baby is not theirs. Someone's going to find out uh, that a baby is not theirs uh, to someone that they could have been married to, uh, that might have been cheating on them, could have been giving head to somebody else. Woo. And someone's going to get evicted and thrown out. It possibly some Aquarius energy. Yeah, someone's going to find out that somebody's been uh, all over the place, some type of open relationship. Okay. 
and then they're gonna have to go to court about custody with someone. Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff is about, about, about to come out. It's uh, going to be a whole lot of karma uh, for a lot of people. Are there any final messages? Spirit. Okay. So we can wrap this up. What, what y'all want to tell us about this? Who is this? A Knight of Cups. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Holy Spirit. Two more. Okay. Okay. Three of Wands in Rose. Okay, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands Reverse. What else? What else, Spirit? Oh, okay. So someone could be coming towards you now because, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, we're going to end the reading here. You could have someone coming towards you, possibly in your family or whatever the case may be, to give you some bad news because uh, a magic spell, it could have been uh, a death spell that could have returned to sender. Uh, they could be coming to tell you that your relative is not going to pull through and they're not going to make it. Okay? And I don't wish that on anybody. You know, I, I, I really don't. You know, I don't want to see anybody hurt, but every action has an equal reaction and there's nothing you can do because people have free will. You can't force somebody to heal. You can't force somebody to, uh, to, um, reflect and stop projecting. You can't grab someone and force change. People have to change for themselves, uh, using their own mind, uh, exercising their own free will. So what I'm looking at here is the Four of Swords. I feel like this is someone laying on a hospice bed, okay? And then uh, someone's giving bad news. Someone's coming to give you some bad news, okay, about a magic spell that uh, backfired. And they're coming to tell you that this person is not going to make it, okay? They're, and that's why I said um, they're coming to tell you, you know, Three of Wands reverse. They're not expecting. They're not expecting... Uh, this person to recover from whatever spell work they did and they may pass away okay I don't like I, I don't want to end this reading like that is there any last uh, anything else spirit something else Jesus can you give me anything else to end with Jesus uh. Did that nine of swords reverse? The page of pentacles could have something to do with children. I don't know what is this. What's the page of pentacles, please? Oh, okay. Okay. So there's a Capricorn. Virgo or Taurus, possibly in your family. I feel like this could be a child. I feel like this is a child in your family that could be an earth sign uh, that pop could be coming to pull the swords out your back. Uh, or they or possibly release something that they've been holding on to. What's the Ten of Swords reverse? 
after you were backstabbed and betrayed. This could someone could be coming to tell you something, possibly uh, about some type of shocking uh, a tower. It's some type of a tower about some type of a, a, a financial abundance or an opportunity. What's that Ace of Pentacles? What's that Ace of Pentacles? Come on now. What's that Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Some type of investment. Oh, an opportunity. Someone could be coming to possibly shock you uh, with... Uh, some type of opportunity that they could be uh, wanting to present you with uh, as an investment in you because you have some type of a star quality. So whatever it is that you do, um, someone sees it as some type of a quality and worth and someone may be looking at you uh, wondering if they can invest in you possibly or even offer you an opportunity. Okay. Anything else? Mm. Why that Knight of Wands reverse there? Okay. This is what came out, Empress, Queen of Cups. Okay. This is Libra and Pisces energy. This could be your family doing this. Somebody's gonna surprise you and offer you some type of uh, uh, opportunity, uh, some type of investment. Uh, they're going to tell you that uh, they see some type of star quality in something that you do, but we have the Knight of Wands reversed here. So that could possibly mean you need to uh, review the, uh, the terms and the contract. Uh, the Knight of Wands reversed is someone that is dishonest, um, deceptive, and reckless they don't care about the consequences they just want to hurry up and, and get uh what get your name on that paper get you get you to sign off on something real fast okay what's that knight of wands reversed about spirit what's that knight of wands reversed that knight of wands reversed All right, so that Knight of Wands reverse is about a work or business relationship, and it's about a work relationship. So somebody is coming in that may want to work with you on something, but it's just showing me that whatever this opportunity is, they're getting ready to present you. Uh, you're going to have to take a second look at that. Be careful. Pump your brakes. Slow down. You know, um, what is the intention of this uh, Knight of Wands reversed? What is the intentions of that Knight of Wands reverse? What is that intentions? This person is breadcrumbing you and giving to another. Yeah, somebody might somebody might be wanting possibly to just um, put you into some type of contract or business deal in which you're not going to get your worth. You may not be able to get uh, your full value and what you're fully worth. I would be careful about signing any contract with anybody. Uh, that rushes in like this to offer you uh, some type of abundance. It, whoever's coming towards you could be very uh, sexy. They could be very attractive. They, uh, you know, usually when they send someone uh, to sign an artist, to sign an athlete, to sign somebody uh, for some type of talent that they have, they're going to send their best looking man or woman, you know, uh, because a lot of times they feel like people uh, in this King of Wands reverse energy uh, have the ability to influence you because they'll have you in some type of a trance because of their beauty, how handsome or beautiful they are. You know, uh, so if they get it, trying to get you to sign some type of contract that's supposed to bring you some abundance, uh, whether you're in the mu music industry, whatever the case may be, uh, if you have a platform, whatever it is, uh, with the, they, they're going to send you a Morris Chestnut looking fella, you know, or Idris Elba looking fella, you know, <laughs> uh, 
uh, and vice versa. You know, of course, if you're a man, you know, they're going to, you know, going to send a very attractive woman to you. Okay. And, and this is going to be, uh, they're going to be hiding, they're going to be hiding things. It's going to be a lot hidden. Uh, as far as their intentions and whatever that entails, it's going to be a lot hidden. And uh, going on a venture, signing up with whatever they're about to present you with is going to have you stagnant and stuck. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot that's going to be hidden in this contract. Uh, it's not going to be your wish fulfillment, Ten of Cups reverse, okay? Uh, and uh, if you uh, go ahead and take a chance uh, in signing, uh, especially if someone offers you money up front, uh, you know, pump your brakes. Don't be so excited to jump out there and just sign the first contract. Um, what would that movie... Uh, uh, can't think of it right now. Either way... Um, Either way, you need to review that contract very well. Uh, don't be excited if someone throws money in your face, especially if it's a large lump sum. You know, uh, that's probably nothing in comparison to what you can probably get on your own. Whether this is in regard regarding a will that you might uh, have been uh, hidden, an inheritance left out of, or whether it's an opportunity, whatever this is, it is not your wish fulfillment. If you take a chance, it's going to leave you stuck, okay? I am Kuan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot.